The first thing to remember when you're carding is that they recommend, the great they, that you always use your carders in the same hand. So I've marked mine left and right. They say it's because of the way you wear the carding teeth. Um, I guess if you if you press more heavily with one hand than the other, there may be something in that. But I personally don't think it makes that much difference. I have a very light way of using my carders, um, but it's preference, and I've told you so. Right, you first load your carder. You don't need to dig the the wool into the carders. You just do a light layer and work back with another one. If you overload them it will make hard work of the carding. Now, the correct technique for holding your carders is to hold that one as if you're holding a hand of peas. Um, and you have to forgive me, I can't do that because I've got a gammy arm. So um, I'll hold mine like that. That one is held correctly. And then your first strokes are very, very light. Catch the tips of the wall and make sure that the wispy bits of wool that are hanging off the end of this carder don't get folded back like that because you'll big, make a big tangle so give them a flick as you bring it back you'll soon get the hand of this you'll soon get the knack of this technique it'll seem fiddly at first like anything but honestly it's so easy now the other, next thing you need to remember is very important is that you don't drag the teeth of the carding cloth through one another. It should not be hard work. It's a very light, you will just hear that light whisper as they just hear it. If you're going to do that, <laughs> there's the difference and really that won't that won't do your card as any good and you don't need to do it because if you give a slight lift at the end the wool will come off gradually in layers onto the right hand carder. Now when you get to that stage and you've got just a little bit left on and no more is coming off then flip the carder over beg pardon, then lift the carder up put the teeth against the back, the teeth nearest the handle on your opposite carder and just tip it slightly and those last few hairs will catch on those carding teeth and just lift clean off like that. Now you can card that again but I mean personally I don't think that needs it, that's carded quite well enough. It's all nice and loose and open. And the point of carding your wool is to make all the hairs separate out so that they're all untangled and then you can roll it into a little sausage called a rollag. I know purists will say this should be rolled between the two carders using the backs like that, but I've never mastered it so I'm not going to even pretend I can. And you can spin from this then, starting with a nice loose fluffy tips. It's nice and loose and open and ready to go. If you make yourself a pile of those and you know, a nice pile and then you can sit and do some continuous spinning. <laughs>